He's back. At the house? Just this morning. And now to the breaking of my fast. Ah, thank you, Eden. Of course. Wait, you fasted while you were away? No, just overnight. Eight hours. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. Eden, these pickled cucumbers are magnificent. You know, Rabbi, I have not mean to ask you about fasting. Thing I'm very happy not to be doing right now. John required us to fast at regular intervals. He said the sacrifice of fasting is integral to any serious commitment to God. And yet, You've never once asked any of us to fast. Oh, there was the time on Shabbat where we ate the head of grain, but we were just hungry. That wasn't intentional fasting. What are you getting at? Well, the Pharisees fast all the time. Make a big scene out of it, disfiguring their faces. If it's such a big deal to them, and they find out we don't do it, I don't know, don't you think they could possibly weaponize that against us. Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days are coming. The bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast. Taken away? Hold that thought. When you fasted before, what did you pray for? Your arrival. Right, so what would be the point now? Exactly. So John made you fast as he preached a message of repentance. And you will again when I'm gone. But as I'm here preaching a message of salvation, now is not the time. I still want to know what you mean by gone. What did we miss?